Hi there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use an Xbox 360 Guitar Hero drum set with your PC as an electronic drum set. So to begin with you're going to need um, an Xbox 360 Guitar Hero drum set. Um, rock band ones will work as well, I'm pretty sure. So that's I have this right here. This is my World Tour um, Xbox 360 drum set, and you'll need a PC that can um, handle a bit of processes, quite a bit of processes that are going that are going to be used to run the programs and stuff. Um, you'll need an Xbox 360 wireless adapter, which is this. Um, it's to connect your um, controller, your Xbox 360 controller to your PC. Um, you'll need to get this, install it with, on your PC, um, and then you're going to need a few programs that you'll have to download in order for this to work. Okay, so the programs you need to download for using your drum set as a MIDI electronic drum set are Loop B1 is the first program you're going to get. This is their website right here. Um, so just select your firmware or your operating system. Um, I already have this installed so I'm not going to download any of this. So you're down. This is where I got mine. I just use the basic one. The you want loop B1, not loop B30, because that this is the it's a completely free program. This is like a trial of a um, a more advanced one, I guess. Um, so loop B1 is the first thing. Then A S I O for all. Um, this isn't completely necessary. It um, certain music softwares will require this in order to get your drum set to be detected by the program. Um, the one that I'm using, which is Addictive Drums, does not require it. So A S I O for all. They just click the newest um, release of it, download that. The most important thing you need is PS3 360 MIDI Drummer. Um, there was a web page for this that was up a while ago, but now it's gone, so you have to download it through this um, shared. Uh, zip on someone's Google Drive. I don't know who shared it, but um, so you got to download that. That's the most important thing. Um, so you download that and install it, and you will get this. This is PS3 360 MIDI Drummer. So this takes all your, it detects your um, your drums and turns the signals from each head into a MIDI channel to send to whatever um, audio software you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the drum set on and it sh automatically detects your drum set if it's set up right and you'll get this message. So just hit OK, tap on your drum, each drum head to make sure it's working, and the little bars will come, these like progress bars I guess, will show that they are picking up signals for each one. So um, you can adjust what uh, channel each head sends out by changing these. And you gotta, you, you don't really want to mess with those unless you know 
what each um, channel is for your um, audio software. So that you can get that set up. Then you go ahead. Loop B1 sh just um, it takes the MIDI signals from this and sends them to your audio software, whatever that is. So you can mute that and it will cancel out. It'll stop the, the signals from being sent. Um, but you want to leave that unmuted. And that just runs in the background. Then you just open up your whatever program you use. And like I said, I'm using Addictive Drums just the demo version because the full version is pretty expensive and I don't feel like buying that right now hopefully I can find a free alternative for that but uh, you just open that up and your drum set is de detected automatically and you can start playing So in the free version of Addictive Drums, you don't get that much. You get your hi-hat, two cymbals, and a kick, and your snare. You don't get any of these, unfortunately. So it's not in, an entire drum set, um, but it's still, it's still fun to use. Um, so each head each of my heads is working you can set it up um, like for this one I know which uh, channel you to use for each thing it does change each time I do that see that one's quieter that one's louder these are full symbols and then certain channels don't have anything because they're just not linked to anything so you keep going down and you can change it see that's now set as a symbol change that back to the snare it's like tapping the side of a real snare around the rim of it. So yeah, that's basically it. You just switch it around and set it to what you want it to be. And that's basically everything. Now, in order to use a PlayStation drum set, I think you need a Bluetooth connection between your drum set and your PC and you just use this same program the PS3 360 MIDI drummer it does the same exact thing it'll detect your um, your drum set automatically and just send it right to um, whatever program you're using um, a Wii, the Wii drum set, on the other hand, is a bit different. You use a program called Osculator, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that because I've not done it yet. Um, but if I figure it out, I will make that a video on how to do that. Um, so Addictive Drums is the program that I'm using right now. Uh, the full version is 120 bucks but it it's pretty cool what all it includes it's it is definitely probably worth the 120 that you have to pay for it but I'm not going to do that right now another alternative I would recommend is the easy drummer easy drummer doesn't have a demo that I know of they used to but I think they took it down um, that one's a little bit more expensive, but that one is it's pretty cool as well. Um, so that's basically all you have to do in order to use your Guitar Hero drum set as a MIDI electronic drum set on your P3360 
PC. So, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe for more videos. Check out my older ones. Um, but that's all I've got for you.